Hello, this is Peter with another video. So today I thought I'd just do a quick video on this Fatsia Japonica. Um, I don't think it's one I've featured before, um, but I did get it earlier in the year. It was quite small, but it's grown quite well in this pot this year. You can see now it's actually flowering. I didn't realise they flowered um, so early in the, in the life. I thought it would take a, lot, a bit longer to get them to a flowering size. Um, but yeah, it's flowering quite nicely in this uh, in this pot. Definitely needs um, to be repotted or planted in the ground. Um, it should be fully hardy um, in my location. I think they're hardy down to at least um, minus 10, possibly even lower, I don't know. Haven't really done too much research um, into them. So yeah, they are quite a common garden plant here in the UK. Um, and I know a lot of people do grow them. There's a, I know there's a house just around the corner from me that has a big one in the ground. Um, that seems to flower um, every year. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just feature this while it was starting to flower. Um, I think these flower buds might open up a little bit more in the next few days. Um, we have had some frost last night. I think it got down to around minus 2 degrees Celsius. Um, but I think this is fine. Um, even with a bit of frost, I think it can take the flowers can take some frost. Um, I do also have another one. Um, a variegated one, Fatsia japonica spider's web, um, which is much smaller than this. Um, so yeah, I don't think that's going to flower this year. But definitely a nice um, evergreen plant to try and grow here in the UK. So yeah, these are definitely a nice ornamental plant to try and grow uh, in your garden if you want something evergreen um, that does flower in uh, late autumn and winter. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure exactly how hardy they are. Um, so if you're in a colder part of the country, you might want to check out. Um, but I think for the most part, most most people will be able to grow this in the ground, uh, in the UK at least, in similar climates. But yeah, definitely worth checking out. If you want something that will give you some big green leaves, it'll get much bigger than this when it gets bigger. Um, probably best in the ground if you have space for it. This is my little Fatsia japonica spider's web. Um, it's got a bit of uh, variegation into the leaves. It's like a, a more of a mottled colour. This one doesn't look particularly good at the minute. Um, it's not grown too much this year, uh, but it was a very, very young plant. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to um, get it to grow quite well next year. Um, it does seem to have got a second trunk or uh, sucker growing at the side there um, so I might see if I can separate them in, in the future but yeah not at the moment they're too too small um, I might actually move this one onto the patio as it's in a quite a shady part of the garden at this time of year don't think it ever gets any sun down here in, uh, in the winter months so I'll move it into a slightly sunnier spot it can handle shade though I think they are happy with shade um, but yeah I think I'll just give it a little bit a little bit more light over winter so yeah um, that was just a quick video on the Fatsia japonica um, I might do another short video um, maybe a YouTube short if um, if these flower buds open up a little bit more but yeah thank you all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll be sure to keep you all updated um, on how my Fatsia japonica does over winter. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, as I said, they are very hardy plants. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.